What's up guys, it's Alex and today I've got a really cool video for you guys that I think you guys are going to enjoy a whole whole bunch. So this has been a topic that has been heavily debated. There have been arguments in comment sections of my videos. There have been arguments all across the internet. There have been people you know going at it about this product since it come out at iCast and really both of these products since they come out at iCast. One of those products is what I have here and that is the Shimano Corrado K and that is the newest Shimano reel for this year. It is their flagship reel. It is the one and only Corrado and they updated this year with the Corrado K. Probably one of the most well known and well sold reels over the years is the Corrado series from Shimano. But today we're going to be comparing it to its number one competitor, the one reel that everybody's asking to see it put up against, and that is the 13 Fishing Zero Ball Bearing Concept Z reel. So my buddy Eric over at TM Bassin has his hands on a Concept Z. I think he's got a couple of Concept Zs. I've got a couple Corrados. What we're going to do today is we're going to meet out at a local lake. We're going to put these reels head to head. We're going to see what kind of casting distance we can get. We're going to break them down. We're going to, get to do a good Good general overview for all you guys that are wanting to see the Shimano Karate K okay put up against the Concept Z by 13 Fishing. And we're going to see which reel you guys are wanting to buy or wanting to invest your money in. So hopefully you guys will enjoy today's video. I think it's going to be really fun. I think it's going to be informative. And it's a video that I've been wanting to do for a while with my buddy Eric. So let's go see if my Karate K okay can beat his Concept Z. Hopefully you guys will enjoy today's episode. Alright guys, so let's talk about the Corrado K real quick. We're going to go over some of the general specs of this reel. It comes in a 7.4 or 8.6 gear ratio. You have the flagship technology of the micro module gearing system in this thing and that's kind of what the selling point of this reel is. Pretty much what that means is smaller teeth on the gears makes them mesh up better, gives it a little more power, helps you to fight fish, and just makes the reel smoother overall. You've got 11 pounds of drag, a 200 size spool, hence the name the Corrado 200. Uh, you have star drag on the side. Then you also have an external uh, magnetic system and an internal magnetic system. So I'll open this thing up. You guys can see you have the internal there. It has the infinity braking system. You just click these to adjust the brakes close that back up and then on the outside there is a small knob right here on the bottom that's going to adjust your external drag and then you also have your spool retention knob right here where it's normally at on all casting reels and this thing i have it set up i have all of the brakes except from one on on the internal i have it set on four on the outside and then i have the spool tension set up just where when the bait hits the ground it'll do a little bit of back spool but not enough to make it backlash or anything like that and that really is the general specs that you guys need to know about this reel. I'll make sure and link something down below that gives a more in-depth, detailed uh, explanation of some more of the technologies that are in this reel. But it pretty much has all the standards and then some of the more high-end technologies that you're going to find in Shimano reels. Now for price point on this reel, retail it's selling for $175.99. That's really kind of a winner over the concept. The concept is at $199, so $200 bucks and i found this bad boy for 149 on ebay so realistically you're getting into a super high-end shimano reel with all the same technologies as their higher-end reels for about that 150 price range now for the rod i've got it paired up with in the line just so you guys will know those specs when we start casting and talking about stuff like that i'm on a seven and a half foot medium heavy pro bass from g rod and i've got that spooled up with some 15 pound comb polymer so eric's got his concept z right here he's going to go over some of the basic specs with his and then we'll just kind of do some casting comparisons talk about the reels talk about some of our likes dislikes kind of do a general overview review of these reels um and hopefully you guys will enjoy that so a little bit about my reel from 13 fish and the concept z main thing was as most of you already know no ball bearings it's got the space age polymer bearing as they call it and it's got the Hamani uh, Japanese cut gears so with all that compared together it has a very smooth like butter when you reel it cast it so forth so basically whenever you hear you're not going to hear like Alex said a minute ago you're not going to hear any bearings in there you're just going to basically hear the line slapping that guide inside there uh it's seven three to one gear ratios left hand it's the only gear ratio they have in left hand unfortunately I wish they had more available for us lefties and i'm throwing it on a 7.3 heavy from D from dixie custom rods uh the drag the drag on it um 
has the 13 fish and bulldog system drag it's 22 pounds so you can muscle those big fish out of heavy cover and so far i've been really happy with this reel and the other concept a's that i have now one thing about the um uh, about the concepts if you already own a concept a c and i think e that they have i believe there's an e One thing, if you own another concept like A or C, they, they are, they're gonna offer the polymer kits for them. So basically you can take what you already have, put the polymer kits in there for like, I think 35, 40 bucks, and you can have a concept Z that you already own and you don't have to go buy a $200 reel. So that's one thing that 13 Fish is gonna offer. Should be coming out in the next couple months. So let's get these things out here on the water. We got a wind that's starting to pick up. It's gonna be right in our face. So this should be um, a little inner. A little interesting. So I'll pick up my jig rod. We'll cast these things. It's not going to be super accurate, like on distances, because we have really no way to measure it. I don't have like a little roll counter or tape measure or anything like that. We're just going to cast them, kind of talk about them, and then we may break um, that one apart and look at the polymer bearing, and then we'll break mine apart and look at it in a little more detail as well. So let's get down here in the water. There. Yeah, there's ice. What is it? What do you think it's like? That's probably a good what. 50 from yards the, from there to there it's probably about a good 50 60 yards yeah yeah well, let's try some casting tests we're uh, pretty much casting the same setup only difference is his rod is three inches shorter than mine but we've got 15 pound test and we're both using half ounce jigs his just happens to be white he has to be flashy um the reel just makes him do that it's that is one downside to buying the concept z is when you buy it you start like buying other bright things so I mean, you'll own a bunch of neon shirts before it's all over with. Right. But, <laughs> but for real though, we're gonna do some casting test. We're gonna see how far we can cast these things. Like I said, the ice is gonna be our kind of marker of where we're casting to. It's about 50 yards, maybe, uh, maybe a little bit closer. Um, so we'll see who can hit the ice or if they can't hit the ice and we'll just see what we can get done. Where's your brake set up? My brake is on three. Uh, put mine on three. His is on three. So both our internal or my external is on three. His internal is on three because it only has internal on his. And we're going to cast. You want to go first? Let it rip. Sure, yeah. Very, very close to the ice. So I'm going to cast exactly where he just casted. Well, so I landed probably two foot short. Wanted to backlash a little bit on that one. All right, so here I go again. About slipped in the mud too. So that one was about dead on. Yeah, that one was about dead even. He may have had me by a couple inches. There you go. Golly. Again, I'm about three foot short. Dang, he almost went in the ice with that one. So we'll see. Close. close. That close. one was close. He probably still had me by about two foot though. So out of four casts, you beat me on three of them. One we tied and that was, I really believe because of a backlash, but you almost backlashed. So let's switch reels and so we can get done that way. Cool. So I've got the Concept Z in my hands now. Um, yeah. And we're gonna see what happens. I'll let you go first. All right. Wow. About the same on that one. Huh. All right. Yeah, I beat you on that one again. I beat him by about four foot on that one. So I tie and then I beat the Concept Z has won again on casting. So we'll do two more, just that way we got a good even number. Oh, I've got a feeling I'm about to beat that. Yep. Dude, like six feet. <laughs> yeah. It was like six feet that time. I mean, and the thing is with this thing, I mean, you can really, when you got it dialed in, you can really crank it. I mean, you're not gonna backlash it. That is crazy. Let me get this thing in. 
this whole reeling with my left hand's kind of hard. <laughs> All right, go ahead. I'm probably going to bait that again. God, dude. I still got you by like two feet. And this will be this will be the last cast with them. Hit it, baby. All right. Beat it again. About three feet. Two to three feet every single time it's beating it. So I have to say, Shimano uh, got beat by the Concept Z, which is actually pretty cool. I mean, that's I mean that's you know. I guess that's to be expected. This that was really the big selling point on these reels is just how smooth, how quiet, how effort, effortlessly they cast it really, really far. And so I'm really impressed with casting distance on the 13 fishing for sure. Um, so we'll get back up to their truck. There's a few things I want to talk about um, when it comes to both reels that I've kind of noticed just from standing here casting that one and from having the time on the water fishing with that one I want to discuss. Um, but overall, I think this was a pretty good test. All right, guys, so obviously you know I've had some time with my Corrado um, to kind of fish it, get to know it. I've, I've fished with it several times. Really, really enjoy this reel. There are a couple of things that I like more about this reel than I do the Concept Z, and then there's some things that, I mean, I wouldn't say I don't like, but it's just something that I notice. So the two things I like, number one, the price point. I believe for the kind of technology you're getting in this reel versus this reel, the price is a lot better. I mean, yeah, I when you're when you're saving 25 to $50 and even 100, because I can promise you these things are gonna get on eBay where you can probably pick them up for 100 bucks here soon. You know, you're saving quite a bit of money. Number two, the micro module gearing in it, in the uh, Corrado, I never feel like I need more reel. Like every time I throw it or reel anything, I've thrown big three quarter ounce spinner baits. I've thrown jigs. I've done thrown a frog. I actually caught a frogfish on my one Corrado before it got really cold outside, and I never felt like I needed more more reel with the micro module gearing system in this reel. So I really enjoy about that. With this thing, I'm not sure. I've not had time with it. Uh, you know, time will tell. Eric, I'm sure, will do a more detailed review on this Concept Z. But this thing is smooth. It's super quiet, like no noise, and it outcasts this reel every single time. We did eight casts total. I casted four with my Corrado. Eric casted four with his Concept Z. And six out of the eight cast, the Concept Z won three in my hands and three in Eric's hands. Now, the one thing about the Corrado that I don't, and I'm not going to say I don't like it, it's just something I've noticed, is it's kind of, I want to say grainy. When you throw the reel and when you reel the reel, there's a little bit of graininess in the reel, but it's nothing that's like going to bother me. And it really seems to be worse when I'm fishing copolymers and fluorocarbon. On my braid reel, it doesn't do that. And it may just be the sensitivity of the lightness of the reel and the rod combination just feeling the you know the kind of rougher texture that the copolymer has coming through uh the eyelet on the reel but overall i'm super impressed by both reels definitely impressed by this thing just smoothness and how far it can cast and really impressed with this reel with the power that it has and i really felt with this reel versus this reel i had more power even though this thing has more drag this thing just feels more powerful in my hand i feel like i'm never going to need more reel this thing um you know i got hung up on some grass out there a couple times and it just almost felt like you know there just needs to be a little more reel there so like i said overall super impressed hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you've got any questions or comments go leave them in the comment section down below if you're new to my channel make sure and hit that subscribe button go check out some more of my videos you guys can go check out my partners i'll leave all the links down in the description you guys can go check out nickels the jig i was using today g rod beast coast to i'm wearing lucky tackle box all those links will be down there and i'll also link the corrado and the concept z so you guys can go check those out as well also make sure Check out my buddy Eric's channel. He makes some really cool videos. Fishes from a kayak. Dude is a absolute stick around here and you need you guys need to go check out his videos. But as always, you guys are sweet.
Thanks for watching.